that you would want the bureau to get in. In other words, where you sort of had the scent or the smell of of the next there now. <clears throat> would it be, for, for example, possible to say something like this if we're, you were to get a directive uh, to the effect that uh, that uh, of course, this would have to be by, uh, with I suppose, approval by the Attorney General, or I don't know, or something like that. Yes, thought through. Where it said that in where law enforcement officials, officials, I mean, where where there are attacks on law enforcement officials, and where there is there is evidence of or suspicion of of uh, of, of uh, you know na- of, of or uh, not conspiracy, but you know what I mean. Other other than just a crime of violence. Yes. You know the the kind of thing like the Panthers and all like that. Panthers that's all these right. So Democrats are right. Something that where, where it's basically that kind of a of an action. Yes. But then the bureau, on a case by case basis, uh, should go in and will go in and and uh, do everything that it can. Now, what I'm really trying to get at is this: is to give you a, is to find a way to get a handle. So that you could go in only on cases where you wanted, and uh, where there were, and that would mean cases where it did appear as if it were this other thing. And then, second, to go in with everything you got. In other words, you could do uh, with uh, surveillance, uh, electronic, and everything. I, I, is is that already covered, or what is? Uh, well, what you I think what is being done. Uh, it might be well to consider a public statement along that line. But uh, New York, for instance, I, I, we've got now, I think, uh, 80 men on a special squad, and I've instructed the, the assistant director of New York to take it as a bureau case and break it as a bureau case if they possibly can. Good. Uh, but without ruffling the feelings of the local authorities, but don't, but don't tell the local authorities we've taken over. I see. In other words, it doesn't relieve the Commissioner well, Murphy of, yeah. of the responsibility of doing the job. Well, and of course, if he knew that we were taking it over, yeah. he probably would uh, scream to high heaven or leak something to the press. Right. Now, we've done the same thing down south with this little girl uh-huh. who was uh, murdered, you know. Right. And well, now, that's, that's what I had in mind as far as procedures yeah. concerned. So, uh, down South, you're doing it because of the uh, civil, civil uh, rights. The possibility of civil rights. Right. Because now the local authorities have got these four white fellas locked up, and they will try them, I guess, for murder. But in the meantime, we want to make certain if there's any federal jurisdiction, uh-huh. and the local authorities kind of begin to back off or go easy, then we can yeah. go into the federal court on civil rights cases. Well, now, if, our, if Ziegler is asked about that case, could he say that, uh, that the FBI, well, I suppose it's already, is it out that you are investigating to see if there's any civil rights thing or something like that? I don't know. This out. I know we went into it immediately yeah. upon happening. Fine. Well, now with regard to the New York, and I think Mrs. Eagler could, with, if that question regard, is asked, right. could say so. Yeah. With regard to the uh, police thing, now, uh, what I'm getting at is that I want to get a position where we can, uh, where you know, my God, a fellow like William Drake, he ought to be in jail himself. Well, he is. Well, of course, yeah. he's a cheap politician. Yeah. Well, you know, the fellow's got a, you know, he's, he's got a very shady reputation. For crying out loud. <laughs> For him to take, because what I what I really trying to get at is a way to to, to so that to reassure people that we are doing everything we can. I know you are. Yeah. And incidentally, I want to, as I say, I want to keep the bureau out of everything that it doesn't want to get into. Yes. I don't want to do anything that will get the bureau in trouble. Well, I tell you what I plan, plan, but, if, but if there's any more handle that you need, I'll sign a directive to you if you want. Uh, what or I, I'll have the attorney general sign one. What I what. plan to do, Mr. President, I've ordered these chiefs of police. In here for next Wednesday afternoon. After after I meet him? No, before oh, you meet him. Oh. I want to get him in here in my office, and I yeah. want to go down about this Williams bill and these other bills, up, yeah. about a dozen up there, to get them all in opposition to it. Good. On yeah. the grounds that they have batted 96.5%. Right. And I have in mind telling them that after the conference with you at the White House on yeah. Thursday, yeah. if after that conference the press asks them any questions, about the line of, of statements they should make. Right. In other words, that uh, they are doing it and they're getting the fullest cooperation from the yeah. FBI yeah. and all that sort of thing. Right. In other words, I wanted to get them lined up as to yeah. the, the atmosphere. Now, right. I think we intend to do the same thing in regard to the 100 that come in the following Monday for yeah. three days training. Mm-hmm. Right, of course, both of those groups you will speak to. Yeah. But uh, I, I thought these uh, officers who are coming in from the sheriffs and the police chiefs that uh, I ought to get them in, the, in this room here and uh, yeah. just tell them what the picture yeah. is and what the opposition Opposition, uh, opposition to, to, yeah. to a bill being enacted yeah. and the impossibility of it, and that they ought to take the lead and ought to publicly announce the accomplishments of 96.5%.
Right. Now, of course, that doesn't take care of getting out a statement yeah. from the administration that will indicate that the administration is going to go in on any of these cases where there may be a possibility of a federal violation. Yeah. You see this Dan Williams, he wants to make it like another Lindbergh case, yeah. like the kidnapping, yeah. where there's a presumption of federal jurisdiction yeah. at the end of 24 hours that we would be in on every I case know. in the country. I know, it wouldn't work. Well, the interesting thing is that here you've got Williams doing this and Schweiker. Now, Schweiker. these two fellows are both doves. They're yes. both against uh, strong law enforcement, and here they are out leading the charge. Well, of course, it's, many, it's, it's the same old thing of, no. of attacking you in the administration. That's, That's right. what it really amounts to. They're not sincere in what they're doing at all. And, uh, of course, Williams is the last man who should have been, been doing any talking. Uh, his background is such is so bad that it ought to be looked into itself. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, there might be the place for some statement then if we could. Let me well, I'll tell you what. I'm not, we're not going to do anything. If you can kick it around in your shop. I'm going to kick it around and here. It, and then raise it. And you and Mitchell, if you've got a recommendation as a statement that we could make, uh, uh, that is, understand, nothing has to be done uh, this week. Let's do it maybe next week. Yes. After our meeting. But we have to have a statement to come off of that meeting with the chiefs of police. I'll, maybe uh, maybe uh, by that time we could say that the FBI will do the, or even repeat what we ordered in November. Yes. People forget what we what the FBI is already doing. Exactly. And, and the order in yeah. November was very sweeping. That's in. right. And as a matter I, of fact, maybe we've got to take that and boil it down and hypo it and says the Bureau from do that and make it appear like a new thing. Exactly. See, and, and, and put any new element in it that you can. I'll get to work on that today. Figure, Talk with the Attorney General figure, today about it. Figure thing. Now, now, let me say, there's no urgency. I don't want to do any, uh, we don't, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend, we want to do it, but you, you talk to Attorney General and say that we want to get a way to state this so that it's a new story when we hit it on Wednesday. Fine. Thursday. Fair I'll, enough. Take, I'll take care of that. There, you work out some. I'll, I'll, I'll do that, Mr. President. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Ehrlichman, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. I forgot to talk to you about the water thing yesterday. You going to that again today with me? Or? Yes. Yes. Right. You, under, you, you, you got the, word, the message. That I, I did. I'm not going to put it in that. Uh, I just, I'm not going to leave it there. And, and well, it, I'm going to have another. If we're going to, look, if we're going to spend the money, I, I'm not going to leave it in the goddamn interior department. Right. Now, maybe there's a way that you can uh, look it out that you and Whitaker, we do that. I'll, I'll be ready at 3 o'clock on that. Well, that it isn't the most money. Now, the second thing is that. Uh, I wanted to ask you uh, about the drug thing. I feel that, <clears throat> having read this thing and so forth, John, that a better way to handle that, I mean, well, the, the purpose of this will be drugs for veterans and so forth. I would like to have it handled in a way, see if you can think of a way to handle it, where we, we bring in the fellow for drugs generally. Uh -huh particular emphasis on, you know, wherever the problem is. Now, here's, here's my point. Everybody's against drugs. If we put drugs for better, and then it immediately becomes the war. Uh -huh. On the other, Now, we'll make it drugs generally, and if we get to like Javi, say, now look, our problem is the present time is the veterans. Go after them. Uh -huh. Now, when we say drugs generally, you know what I mean? Well, and, and we say particularly the use of drugs by young people. Uh -huh. See, if I put it on that uh -huh. basis. Uh -huh. By younger people, the use of drugs by youth. I think that's uh, by, by that's where the problem is, as far as the old junkies are concerned to make a difference. Then, John, then you could come out, then on a subsidiary basis, you could hit the other. Uh -huh. uh, on a subsidiary, in the background, you could say, well, now we're going to handle the other problem. The other thing I was going to say, the other thing I was going to say is that I think that, and, and, that, and I marked in the news summary, that you might use the the uh, the uh, the device of the inspired leak to show that we're way ahead of these clowns that are raising the point of drugs and so forth and so on and and uh, by inspired leak I'll, I'll I'll tell you a name of somebody all right or you can, maybe maybe you have one in mind but, and, and 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 give a, a Stuart Alsop you know is very very hip on this right all right well if you could reach him Mrs Friday he might be able to do it that might not be a bad place mm -hmm. we we uh, we could give him one. And uh, that uh, we're doing it at the highest level and so forth, and let his story be picked up. Uh -huh. uh, why don't you catch him, catch him him before his deadline today? All right. See if he's finished his column. He All may right. have already got it in, though, this week. All right. Uh, he may be writing on this subject. He does about every other week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 
do you do you see what I mean yes, about sir. the fact that I think that just having us saying the president is setting up a man directly responsible to him for drugs for veterans, mm -hmm. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. Whereas if the president sets up a program of $120 million to fight drugs for youth, mm -hmm. and then of course we know within house that it's all about veterans. See what I mean? Right. I just think that's a better way to do it. All right, sir. Is that all right with you? you bet. Another way, too, that gets more of that stuff down. Right. right. Up here. Right. I really want to take the drug program away from the Institute of Mental Health. Maybe we can work. I really feel, you know what I mean, I was kind to Richardson and everything. Let Rich, let Brown, you know, get people on the couch and whatever these other people do and, uh, you know, with them. But God Kroken. damn it, don't keep them out of the drug business. Krogh can pull that off. Huh? He Krogh knows that. Yeah, yeah. as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, if Krogh were a doctor, I'd put him in <laughs> I was afraid you'd think of that. <laughs> no, really? He's that good? Yeah, I know he is, but uh, we've got him We've got him in antitrust and a lot of other things. I just, All I right. would hate to get, right. uh, you know, lose well, him. He can take this and be in charge. Sure, okay. sure. And Fine, he can, can, you, you and Krogh talk about it, and I'll be back in touch with you at 3 o'clock. Fine. Yes. Mr. Andrews and Mr. Price's office, please. Thank you, sir. Hello. I have Mr. John Price, sir. Who? John Price. No, no, no. no. I'm trying. I'm sorry. Andrews. Just yeah. This office. Right. I'm sorry. It's John Andrews. Yeah. Yes, sir. I was wondering if uh, you and uh, you can talk maybe to Cook about this, who's pretty good at this stuff. Uh, I don't know that I can. you can find one, but I wondered if you could give thought to the possibility of something for the conclusion of this rather than this is this. A, a brief anecdote of some sort. Now, now it could be, you know, you've got a lot of letters there. I've we've never used any of the that we've had from from POWIs, from Vietnam fathers, and from a, you know all that sort of thing, or or a boy who served and something of that sort. Even so, why don't you? I want you to be a good good process anyway to get the, the, the crew over there to spend a couple hours looking through. Maybe there's a letter, a brief, very brief one that could be read. Maybe there's a, maybe there's an historical anecdote that would uh, sort of put the whole problem of service and so forth in its proper context. Uh, well, I'm sure we can come up with something yeah, that, yeah. that would. I'd like to have two or three, a uh, few choice, so that there's a rather emotional lift at the end, rather than an intellectual lift. Yes, okay. sir. Just, 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 just think about it. There's, yeah. and uh, and uh, I won't. Uh, maybe by. Uh, Three uh, about to, I won't be able to look at anything until around four four o'clock this afternoon. Okay. Okay. And, and you want us to provide then the several choices if we can come up with them. Well, yeah, yeah. Or a, and a recommendation, a recommendation, or two or three choices. Yeah, two or three choices or something of that sort. That uh, the uh, you you can see where it comes toward the end. Just yes, sir. Substitute for the end. Okay. Okay. Fair we'll enough. get it. Bye. Please. Julie, please. Thank you, sir. Yes, please. Secretary Rogers, please. Yes, Mr. President. Yes, please. Hello. Mr. President, Secretary Rogers is at lunch. You expect any minute? Can I get him for you? Uh, no, let him uh, call when he returns. Sure, he will, sir. Hello. I have Secretary Rogers returning your yeah. call. All right. <clears throat> 
Uh, no. Hello, Mr. President. Just, Bill, uh, just uh, got rid of your friend, King Faisal. Okay. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, did you get a call from Alderman yet? No, I didn't. Oh, I see. Well, I'll tell you what. I will not talk to you now, then. He is uh, trying to reach you uh, about uh, a, a, a two poles on Red China, which <laughs> coincidentally both Gallup and Harris have just taken. Mm -hmm. They're quite significant mm -hmm. in, in this respect. Harris is not signi so significant because his are not as reliable, but Gallup polled in October on the admission of Red China. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, uh, the, the and, and, and he'll explain, he'll, he'll show it. And, and the, uh, of course, the, the uh, vote was negative. He's just polled over the last month since the China so-called initiative, and the vote now is positive. Yeah. Now, this shift, what is significant, is among Republicans. Mm -hmm. In other words, Republicans uh, who are negative now shift the other way. The thing that uh, the thing that uh, give the results of it. The thing that I think this bears on in terms of our conversation is this: that that. Uh, we now have, in terms of our domestic situation, a different problem. The problem is still, will still be the significant one of those who oppose it, but it will be a minority of people. In other words, it'll be basically the Walter Judd and other types, but, but it's still pretty good. It's about 35, 40%. Anyway, but that we will have to handle in a way. The other side of the coin, though, and this is the new factor, is that a majority of people now favoring the admission of Red China, you know, they're they're sort of following what we've done. See what I mean? That's right. Having been affected by that, then it's, it, we will have probably a very difficult issue domestically. I'm trying to get that all in context so we can get in our own thing domestically if it appears that we just stonewalling it. See? Right. Now, where we come to here is this, that I'm going to handle it in the press conference Tuesday in a way that I have, you know, we've just, I've been discussing this with the Secretary of State and so forth, and we, we are, we are, we are considering uh, our policy in this respect, you know, or, or you know, we are, we are reconsidering. Well, I, I'll just say we are considering the problem. The the thing that I think that that, that in terms of your situation is that to the extent you can, if you can think the real problem here is to give the uh, reassurance, the best reassurance you can to Taiwan. Mm -hmm. This uh, the, the Harris poll, I think, both come out Monday, incidentally, these polls, mm -hmm. to Taiwan, that, look here, we are your friends, we're going to do the best we can by you. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other hand, it, it also would lead me to conclude that that our timing is about right, about the 15th of July. In other words, after you've con con concluded all this business, either that or maybe around, or maybe maybe better, uh, maybe around the 5th when you, if you can put your Senate here to the 4th of July, yeah. uh, to do it before the Senate. I'm inclined to think that's a little better. I do too. Because I think a live audience in England is sort of, you know, yeah, I agree. catering to those people. So, so, but if you could put your Senate hearing around the fifth or sixth or so, whatever it is, I, I would would like for you to still take the position so that we can get our ducks in a row that we have not decided it, but that we are considering this problem. Now, one thing that that after you left, I that uh, Henry brought up, which I think is very important, is the way you formulated this thing, the way that you will have if if we present it, that you will present it as a resolution where we will we will say that expelling a country is a two thirds matter and admitting a country is is majority. Right. right. That puts us that that is something we can broker with our friends. To sure. see. Now, frankly well, that, that, frankly that, what is really uh, frankly I know I know that's your, that's that's what I mean. That's what he pointed out. The proposal therefore had had within it the way you have reformulated it has something that we can sell. Sure. There. Now frankly, my own view is that that is that probably the best thing in the long run is to get it over with. On the other hand, we have uh, we've got to do it in a way that is uh, uh, you know is, is not considered simply running uh, running off just because of a of, of public opinion and all that sort of thing. And uh, I think that the uh, 
Hispanic and you're the idea that while well, you're consulting, there's a change in the United Nations. Uh, we've had this vote all this time, so we're trying to see how we can, how we can, uh, and also there, there is a change in our relations with China. Mm-hmm. And as a result, we're trying to see how we can accommodate both views. Mm-hmm. And so we, we feel maybe this is the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Now, my own guess is that we could get rolled on the second proposition. In other words, well, if we're going to do that, we won't, we won't do it. No, 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 no. I wouldn't worry about it. Here's my point. You know, I, I, see, I, I get the... Uh, I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind... Uh, you see, if you have your resolution, uh, one on the first and the other on the second, on the other prop, one on one on admission and the other on expulsion, see, and uh, then the... We vote uh, yes on the one, and uh, we vote, of course, yes on the other, and get and lose that. See what I mean? Yeah. I think you could lose a two-thirds vote. I think you might. I don't know. What do you think? I, I wonder if they'll even think it's an important question to expel them. That's my point. Uh, well, I think, let me say this. I, 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 I think you have to find out. Yeah. That's the point. No, that's that's the issue. I met with a Chinese ambassador this morning. Hello. Jimmy Chen? Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're not going to have any problems with them. He, uh, what did he say? What, uh, what was the Well, uh, the, the way I put it to him is I said, look, first let's talk about what's going to happen if we follow the present course of action. Do we agree that we're going to be defeated? And he agreed. And he, well, he, he said that's the way it looked. Yeah, right. He knows uh, that. And then he said, I had, then he, I had told he, him when he presented yeah. his credentials that that's what we thought. Now, and then he... Then he, then he tends to say, well, here's what we want, and we, we can't admit. Yeah. I said, look, at I agree with that. We, we don't either. This isn't, a matter of, this isn't a matter of policy or anything. Else. This is just a matter of procedure. Well, do we follow the course we're following, or do we change? Uh, and I said, uh, then I said, uh, we're inclined to think that if, we, 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 if you insist, uh, you'd be better off following the president's policy. I said, the president will seriously consider that. I said, I don't think on reflection you'll do that. Well, he said, it's difficult for us publicly to change. I said, well, we're not talking about publicly. We're talking about how you react to what we do. I, mean, I said, President Nixon is very fond of your president. He's very fond of your country. And we're now talking about what's the best course for us to follow as far as you're concerned. Um, yeah. And... Uh, I said, here's what we think is, a, is probably the best course, but we'll consider something else if you. Uh, then we went through it, and I said, now, this has got nothing to do with ping-pong diplomacy. This, is, this isn't a change of policy. This is just tactics. How do we proceed? And when he finished, I, I reiterated it. I said, first, you tell your president that if he's serious about it and wants us to follow the present course, uh, I know President Nixon will give very great weight to his view on it. But not a veto. Right. I don't know, but I just want to do that. That's right. That's right. Secondly, I said, if we decide to change our course, we don't want you to agree with us publicly. We want you to acquiesce and indicate to your friends that what we're doing is the wisest course for you. I said, because we don't want trouble here. Yeah. Uh, and uh, incidentally, it seems to me that on that, if we come to this point of view, you can tell them that yes, we'll fight for your Security Council seat. Well, I did. Tell we'll them. lose that. I told. Well, I told them. I said, look at all we. First, we, we want your support. We want you to say it to your friends. What That's the right. United States is doing is acceptable to us. It was the only way they could handle it. We for, a, for a practical, for, very for practical matter. That's right. All right. Third. We will do everything we can to help you retain your Security Council seat. Right. We can't guarantee it because it's beyond our control. All we can tell you is we'll use our very best efforts to achieve that result. Mm-hmm. Four, we understand if you if you lose your Security Council seat that you do not feel you can stay in the United Nations. We understand that. I said, let us know what your views are. And now, he didn't. He responded quite favorably, really. Yeah. He said, I've got to check with my government. And, you know, he said, there's yeah. a limit to what I can say. But I don't think we're going to have any yeah. trouble. Yeah. We'd have any trouble with Waddle Judd, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Let's not, uh, let's not him get him. Well, no, I won't talk to him. I'm, well, talk what I meant is, you. I think the, the way to get Waller is after you've talked with the people abroad, and you come back and you tell me, you see, yeah. then I'll get Waller in. And, I'll, I'm, and I think I'll just get him, frankly, and, let, and say, Waller, I need your help. Tell him what the cold turkey facts are and what we've right. got to do and that he's got to help us. Right. Uh, he won't agree with it, but he'll at least cool him. I'm not so sure, Mr. President. Why do you say he won't agree with it? Oh, you know what I mean. Philosophically, he'll say you're, you're principle, right? But what, he, what I mean is he will do exactly 
He may agree that we ought to do this, but he will not agree. I don't think he'll go out publicly and say, oh, no, he can't. See what I mean? No, he won't. You can't publicly be against a thing like this for years on principle and then shift the position. That's what we got to do. But you see what I'm getting at is that he may say, okay, I understand it. You know how he'll talk. And uh, so uh, now on your talks with our friends over there, why uh, just explore it as uh, best yeah, you, I've got like you can. Plan, You've yeah. got all that. And uh, then, too, in your uh, natu- I think this may set off a it might set off a rash of questions and so forth in your place. As a matter of fact, looking at it in view of this coming up, uh, the, uh, the the leak, uh, frankly, was probably fortuitous. Oh, I think so. See my point? I think so. Because it just shows that we're thinking about it. It was, it was yeah. presented, too. It was presented yeah. in the terms that we're thinking about it because of the yeah. Republic of China. Yeah. And uh, I think if you could uh, add to your answer, if you could sort of keep the speculation down public as much as possible so it doesn't appear that we're... Well, I hate to get it back on, but we have we did promise him that we'd 
and give him this meeting, and that's all we're doing for him on the election. We've got to do it early enough that it doesn't come. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it one day after the first of July. That's why I wanted it in June eight, but he yeah. wouldn't take that. So that's that. Mr. President, I sent you a memorandum for the memorandum on the my analysis of the treaty between UAR and. Uh, Oh, good. And the uh, Soviet Union, I yeah. advise a little lunch. He agrees with my assessment, too. Does he? Yeah, he says he thinks it's just a... Uh, did, he get, did you get him off of that Zionism subject? <laughs> a little Not bit. Not quite. I had, I'll tell you, you never saw such a collection of oil men in your life as I had for lunch. Good. God, mm -hmm. if I'd had a Republican... But did you know that? You know how much they got in U.S. banks? Five billion dollars. Yeah, Saudis. Yeah, I told you that. You told me. Yeah. They, well, for crying out loud, uh, they, uh, we just... Uh, Gotta go on. He was he in good good he's humor. In great, he's in great shape. Yeah, he feels. I, he he you know, struck up a real friend. He, he's quite aware of it. Sure. He's very pleased. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. Well, this this is the way we'll uh, we'll play it at the moment. And if there's anything else, give me a call uh, before you leave Sunday. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Uh, Mr. Bull, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Steve, Bowen. Steve, what do we have of uh, the uh, Peterson at 3.30? Yes, sir, and the Attorney General at 4. 4, and then what's the next? That, that's it, Mr. President. Well, move, uh, move each of them back 15 minutes, please. All right, sir. Would you like to have them both in the EOB, sir? Yeah. All right, fine. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, go ahead. Yes, please. Uh, would you give me a field, please? Uh, yes, surely. Yeah. Yes, sir. Do you have a copy? Of, do, do, is that uh, last speech thing for tomorrow? Is that over there yet? I'll tell you what I just did get, sir, within the last five minutes, are, are three substitutes for page eight. So yeah. w was there to be more than that, or do you have... What about the... Uh, no, 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 no. I just wanted some stuff to look at. There was three... Yeah, I told him to suggest uh, three uh, mm -hmm. bits at the last. Now, but... but in addition to that, well, what about the what about the rest of it? It is over there. Sir. Uh, the rest of the speech is not here, no, sir. But I'll track it down if you don't have it. No, no, no. Just just keep it all there, and I'll be over and look at it. All right, fine. We'll do. Miss Woods. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Yes. On that, I forgot to tell you. Would you tell uh, Andrews or? Uh, uh, that uh, or, or Ray Price called him and told him that uh, that I've approved a final draft and we're all finished. They won't need to work to hang around tonight. All right. Would you call Ziegler uh, and tell him that the draft is uh, will be ready for his giving out to the press in the morning if he wants. All right. Uh, he can. Uh, uh, I mean, if he if he has some somebody that he very he very much would like to give it out, you know, to have an advance, he can have it tonight. You see, this yeah. is. The, like the news magazines. Okay. If he wants. So you tell him. Okay. All right. And fine. all you do is to just type me a reading copy, and that's all I need from you. All right. All right. Fine. Trisha, please. Yes, please. Mr. Kissinger, please. Yes, thank you. Hello? Mr. Person, I find he's going out to a dinner. Would you like me to reach him there? Oh, no. No, it's a general case. I guess I'll try him. Yeah. Oh, he went to Annapolis to make a speech. Oh, he did? Yes, sir. Oh, fine. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Come to Rockefeller, please. Thank you. No. Yeah. I have Governor Rockefeller. I'm a line, sir. Hello? Mr. President. I just called you to tell you that I'm, uh, as one who uh, <clears throat> has to read the New York Times every morning know what's going on, that I'm on your side in that rent fight with your Unite. your mayor. And the reason is that I just sit, sitting, sitting here, uh, just uh, Henry just in, and, and uh, we were 
were going over some things, and I told him that. And uh, I said, I knew what happened to France, to Paris. Exactly. As you know, that got the reason that you've got no housing in Paris is you had ceilings too long. Now here in New York, I mean, you've got to you've got to bite that bullet, and this is a total demagoguery to go the other way, in my opinion. Well, you're the nicest person. But, or don't you? Isn't that it? What, what's the matter with this fellow? Can't you get a? Uh, uh, why don't you get John Loeb and some of the business guys to talk to him? Well, I said talking to him doesn't do any good. He's a, yeah, an unusual person. Let's yeah, put it that way. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, that's kind. Or really, the well, only thing one can do is to just go right after him. Right. And that may bring him around. This this has been a fantastic session. We really have done all the tough things. Yeah, you yeah. Know, that, that had to be done. Cutting the budget, mm -hmm. cutting off people who are going to cut his budget, mm -hmm. and uh, we've also taken away his power to put controls on new construction. Right. So that'll help on the. Yeah. But it's a it's an interesting period, and we're trying to turn things around in the state. Good. Good. Well, on a positive basis. Things are coming around. You think? Uh, well, I do. Well, I can you, but you know, uh, Nelson, you've got to turn it around in the city. Well, that's right, and we're moving yeah. on. I'm used yeah. to, uh, if you read reading that story in the Times, he's criticizing the fact that we don't respect home rule. And well, I saw that. I didn't know the implications of that. Well, I think what we're going to have to do before we get through is appoint some kind of a Seabury committee to really investigate the whole operation of the city. You know, if you had a fellow of really what you need is sort of a fellow of, if he, if he weren't already in the other camp, a guy like... Uh, like Brownell or somebody to go at that, but he can't do it because he's that would his, be or or maybe uh, a younger guy. Yeah. Well, what's the what's the name of the president of the uh, telephone company who just retired? Capital. Yeah, Capital. Be great. A job for you. Absolutely too. great. Would he you could that post let me say that in if you were to put him in, yeah. uh, first you could you could count on him to come up with the right answers, yeah. but second you could also count on him to talk to you before he gave the answers to ask you whether you could wheel him politically. Right. He's the only man to do it. As a matter of fact, I couldn't recommend more strongly you giving Fred a call and saying, look here, and the guy that worked uh, with us later on uh, uh, through this whole thing, all these fellows on that commission, Roy Ashmer, were just terrific. But this Ka Kappel is the man. He's, he's, the, he's really the senior statesman in reorganization in the whole country. No question. If I could get him. Yeah. And mm -hmm. really move in with a commissioner right. power of subpoena. So right. Let me been. let me tell you if you talk to him, you can if, if only if you feel it's worthwhile, you can say we were chatting and I I, I urged it. So forth. he because he ought to do it. He ought to do it, Nelson. If you, I think that's what's needed. And uh, you know, I feel uh, as you do. I mean, hell, I want Lindsay to succeed. Good God, we don't want New York City to go down the tube. But the way it's going to go, unless they face up to some of these things, you know. Uh, this, all of this, all of these problems are the result of his own, uh, you know, uh, well, also pandering to certain groups too. That's right too. You know, to to to, to the, he's demagoguing it. Yeah, that's, that's well. He's he's always done it. He does it well. Yeah, <laughs> he sure does. And it's not easy to. He does it on Dick uh, Cavett and uh, all the other shows. It's beautiful, uh, very effective. That's right. There's one thing I worry a little about. We're going to have to cut his his request in half. <laughs> For new money, he wants yeah. eight hundred and eighty million. We're going to give him probably around four hundred, maybe less. Mm -hmm. And he's going to start right out cutting <clears throat> the uniform services, and then saying we're oh, yeah. preventing his fight on crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The police, the firemen, all that. I wondered, in view of some of these uh, killings, right, and so forth, the police. If we could, mm -hmm. there was any possibility of getting some emergency funds for, for that the purpose mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. Washington. Mm -hmm. Clearly, apart from some other things, I yeah, see what you mean. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to see John Erdogan in a few minutes. I'll raise it with him. I don't know what the problem is. George Schultz is uh, up to his farm this weekend, but yeah. I'll get right on it, and I'll have John call you back. This would be marvelous. Because Fine. I just got up with sort of a yeah. gesture from you. Yeah. Yeah. Through the state. Even though, even though we couldn't, of course, we can't give a huge amount. No, but no, you know, no. if we could give you really more gesture, give him out, it'd be a hell of a gesture. It'd be very effective. Work out between us. 
Right. You know, and then right. we were going to do this for the city to help. And, the, and the, you suggested it and so forth and so on. So I suppose the problem is scattering it around, how much is left and all that sort of thing. But we might find a way to do it directly. Let me see. Let me see. I, was, I felt so strongly, as I'm sure you did, when those two policemen were murdered, particularly when you had a black and a white, you know, right. a black and an Italian, actually. Uh, that really stirred up people. Oh, and well, fighting. that's the problem. Yeah, and they're good people. Those police are good people in your city. You know, they aren't. There's no police brutality. Well, very little police brutality in New York City. You know that. But there isn't enough. <laughs> that's right. Well, anyway, I'll have John call you. Good to talk to you. Well, this is great, and fine. I'll talk, follow this other yeah. up, John. Uh, fine. I'll tell. Okay. I'll talk to him first. Fine. Great. Yes, please. Hold a minute, please. Mr. President. Hello. Mr. President, I yeah. find Mr. Haldeman is over at Tidwell Friends School to a parent teacher. No, no, no. Let it go. Around 4.30 he'll be back? No, no. No problem. No. Uh, get me Mr. Uh, hello. Yes, sir. Uh, give me Mr. Butterfield, please. Fine. Thank you. Hello. Yes, sir. I don't know whether he can do this, but I know Connolly has a very bad... And tell him that uh, I should would strongly urge the day that he go up to Camp David with his wife and that it's all shipped tomorrow as he can. Okay, sir. Sure. Now, uh, also offer the helicopter sure. schedule tomorrow, but if the schedule's late enough, he could go up and still cut it off. Okay, it's only 225. It's daylight to late third is open for him. All right, sir, I'll do it. Now, if he, uh, you don't need to report to me, but just offer it to him. I certainly will. Fine. Right away, yes, sir. Please. Would you try Mr. Haldeman again, please? Yes, sir. Thanks. If he's not home, uh, just let me know. All right. Yeah? Mr. Haldeman has gone out, and the daughter doesn't seem to know where right. her mother went shopping. So. That's all right. All right, sir. Bye. Yes, sir. Uh, Mrs. Nixon, please. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I'm Mr. Haldeman for you now, sir. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just a second. Hold on. Quakers are due, you know. As soon as we get Vietnam over with, they'll all be for us, too. <laughs> yep. It's basically, they're conservative, you know. They're really yep. basically conservative. They're not, uh, they're pacifists, but they're, you know, they conservative tough, on the tough with money and yeah, all that sort right. of thing, you know. That's what they're doing. Let me ask you a couple of things. Did you have in this poll uh, any the questions where they rated the issues which they were most interested in? or No. I did not but we will in the other one. Yeah. Uh, I noted one thing, uh, in, 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 in at least as funny you you have here, revenue sharing reorganization didn't turn up any at all, did it? Nope. Did, was well, there we any, didn't, I don't there think was we no way a that, chance. Yeah. Well, environment did. Uh, you know. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe see. maybe you lifted that as something to ask them about. Is that what it is? Yeah, we gave them the the. Uh, and we didn't ask them about revenue sharing. Uh, 
we asked them to uh, rate it on each of 13 issues. And that was not included in the list. No, it? and I think the reason we took these was because we had some previous data on them, exactly. at least on some of them. Could have been. Yeah, right. we did. Right. right, good. No problem. I'm just curious. On the next one, we'll ask them. I think it's important to know. No, we'll have a lot they, of that in, the, in this one that's coming in the end of the week. What do you mean? Uh, like the domestic console poll. Have they taken a poll? So yeah. See, they've done one that, that's... Uh, well, basically uh, on issues. So Completely issue. Yeah. And uh, there's I a have lot a, of detail on it. It's one that the yeah. government's paying for, you know. I have a feeling that uh, myself that they... That the uh, that the two big ones that we have, uh, uh, you mentioned cancer, and I, I agree it isn't much, but it's better than the others. But oh yeah, but as far as revenue sharing and environment are concerned, I think they've got about as much. I just don't think there's much to them. I just don't think the environmental thing, except for a a, a rather fanatical group, uh, sends a hell of a lot of people. Uh, you know, I just don't think it does. Right. I think that's right. And I think about every every survey that is that we we take shows that because it's just for the reason that the average guy sitting in his place just doesn't have a hell of a lot to do with the environment. You know, it's only certain people that do. Uh, let me ask you another thing. Do you have a? Could you go back to the approval rating? Do you have the uh, the uh, regional breakdowns on that? Uh, yeah, I'd like to hear that. Be of interest in terms of just waiting for some materials in the press book right now. Um, approval. Overall, it's 48. And what is it? What's the negative? And the negative is 36. 36, 48. Mm -hmm. In the east, it's 40, 46. 40, 46. Disapproved. The Midwest is 5034. Mm -hmm. The South is 5428. Jesus Christ. That's, now there's a hell of a, uh, a 5428. Yep. So that's about what it ought to be nationally. Very solid there. And in the West? West is 4639. That's pretty good in the West, isn't it? So a little weak in the West, strong in the strongest in the South. Midwest about a little strong in the Midwest and weak in the East. The East thing is a little hard to figure for me. I don't know. I can't can't quite uh, I can't quite figure it as differing from the rest of the country so much, except for the enormous uh, impact of the sort of the liberal uh, anti-war feeling here. I mean, I know, but but you know what I mean. That's uh, it's all over the country. It's even in the Midwest. And the Midwest is very isolationist. Yeah. But I think in the Midwest, the sort of Spartan virtues appeal a little more. But don't you think that's it? But what do you attribute yeah. the East? What do you attribute the East to? Because the East, you know, with New York and Pennsylvania, we think we thought we were doing a little better. Well, no. Now you look at the. Of course, the east is where there's been the big drop, too, as, as we were talking about before. Yeah. It's down from 59 to 40. It's 59 a, to 40. Yeah. One year. Do you remember an earlier poll, you had a situation where there was an aberration in the far west. Do you remember? That was the March poll. Was, remember, they, you, had, you went back to them and you found that they made a mistake? That was that last June poll. It was. Huh? Yeah, where the far west was 49. Yeah. It ended up 49. Actually, it was lower than that at first. But yeah, it was down to 42 or 3 or something like that or, or something. And you had them go back. And then they reworked it, right. Right, yeah, because they had it weighted to the north. Okay. Uh, I still have a feeling that one, there's something wrong on that one, though, because it... Well, the, east. the fact the that the east was so high, the, that the east was 59 and the yeah. west was 49 yeah. in that one. Yeah. Because the east has never been as high as the west no, in any other poll we've taken. It doesn't seem to make any sense, does it? No. And I don't see why it would be. Well, be interesting. Right we'll, uh, we'll we'll take another another whack at it. How many how many people were sampled in this case? Fifteen hundred. Oh wow! That's their. Uh, That's enough. That's enough. That's you know they do it by personal interview, but it's it's uh, one thousand five hundred. That's what Gallup takes, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. That's enough. 
Okay, it's it's what they all figure is about the right. Uh, about when the right is uh, when is Gallup coming out? Uh, his his. Are you? Do you I don't know, know that it is. I don't even know that it is, and we won't know until. Well, it's not so far different from the other. Whether his his last one was fifty thirty eight, wasn't it, or something like that? Yeah. The last one he published. My recollection is. Yeah, forty. Yeah, fifty thirty seven. Mm-hmm. And this one this is, is May fourteenth one. And this one is uh, he, he is tentative figure at least, or is this the final one? No, forty forty nine one. No, it's still tentative, but I. Well, yeah, that's what it is. It's tentative. What does he have? Is his negative the same as ours? Thirty six or thirty eight? I think it's thirty six. Right. Okay, that sheet here, but I don't have it. Right. Let me come back to one other point on the schedule. Of you, it seemed to me that. Uh, the one thing I wonder if you were able to analyze in this, and I guess maybe you can't, is what, if any effect, uh, we've all, you know, felt press conferences are so damn important. They have. Uh, I just wonder about that. Uh, you can't, that can't quite, I suppose everything, the press conference contributes to everything, but there's nothing that specifically kind of brings that up, does it? No. Uh Press conference is basically the image maker of them all, isn't it? More than, well, the, the speeches too, but the press conferences. And when you stop to think of you, the mad number of people you have with one of these things, the press conference and the conversations and the rest, that's how they know the man. That's it. That's where they yeah. form what yeah. what opinions they develop. But then, well, the real, the well, real the question, and I, what all this is really to, is to, is to whether we are following about the right line in the press conference. Well, we can't change it I mean, much. I mean, there's much to do about it. But, uh, you know, when you're talking about strength, if you're talking about, you know, all that sort of stuff, uh, that's where they get it, don't they, in the mm -hmm. press conference. Mm -hmm. I've made up a little, I'm going to, well, I'll give it to you Wednesday, but I made up a little memorandum with regard to things. I think on this, one, one, one thing that naturally would follow from it would be to give to the cabinet people and the top staff people, in other words, the speaker team and even the top uh, partisan types and from the House and Senate, just about three points to emphasize. I mean, one, world leader, two, dignity, and three, uh, the whole business of... Uh, of uh, doing what is right, bold and courageous, and so forth. Wouldn't you think so? Yep. Those are points that really have to be made by other people. And uh, if you just, just get them down to that, rather than in terms, gee, this guy's cleaning up the environment, and he's uh, giving you revenue sharing, and uh, you know what, and, and, uh, except, except basically for war, unemployment, jobs, and inflation. Those I, mean, I mean, inflation and, uh, uh, and crime. Uh, there, none of the other issues really matter, Bob. No, that's that's, that's just really it. sure clear. But it's it's quite we've got a lot of ground to gain in the certainly in the crime area. In the crime area. Crime and dope. The crime and dope. Now, and basically, the what, economy you're either going to gain it or not on the facts. What happens in the economy and what happens in the war will determine that. But crime basically is an issue of rhetoric. You always have crime. You're always going to have a hell of a lot of it. You're going to have a lot of dope. But it's a question of whether or not they think you're out fighting the goddamn stuff, you know. Yep. Now, on the war, we, we do the best we can, indicating we're fighting it and on the economy. We can, but they can talk to your blue in the face, and they say, well, we still got it. But for the average person, as far as crime is concerned, it doesn't, you know, isn't affecting him, uh, you know, except that he reads about it, hears about it, and maybe his kids are exposed to it. I think this is a real chance for us, don't you? Yep. I mean, be the, be the crime fighter. Take Dewey, you know, when he made his great reputation. Sure, the fighting he DA. He made it as a fighting DA. I mean, he didn't end crime in New York City, but he put a couple of people behind bars. And he made a lot of fuss about it. And he made a lot of fuss about it. It was an enormously publicized thing. That's, of course, the secret of Edgar Hoover. Edgar <laughs> Hoover is a tremendous publicist. And in our case, uh, we, we just mosey around, you know, and do the right thing and sign memoranda. And, uh, that's about all. And as I say, Mitchell, with all of his cl with his class and everything, he doesn't get he doesn't get that across to folks, Bob. I do not. I don't believe. I, I would I would say this. You would across the country. They might know Martha, but they might not know who the hell he was. Right now, you know. 
You get yeah. a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of that. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, because basically he hasn't been exposed. Well, that's, he's not colorful and, and, and he's not, uh, he's not, a TV not dramatic person. about the stuff he does. I would imagine that Connolly right now is, is more is better known than Mitchell. Probably. Well, or, I don't know. Martha would make a lot of difference. In, well, she would help. Mitchell. That's right. That's right. Now, coming to your calendar, we were talking about what we might do. You know, you were we were thinking about the possibility of that main junket on 19th. Yeah. Now, did I understand that then you, we'd come back and do something on the 22nd? Was that it? Uh, the, the AMA? Yeah. Uh, well, either that or, or or we could do the AMA the next day. 23rd. Well, the, uh, no, the 22nd. It, the AMA has to be the 21st or the 22nd. You do... Uh, yeah, I'd rather do it the 22nd if we do the damn thing. You could do... Uh, now then. Do the Rochester thing on Friday the 18th if we can move Senegal, Sendor. Oh, I, either. Or you can in meet my, him in the morning and still in my view, you've got that near cancel him. You know what I mean? Uh move him to the morning uh, you know uh, he is in the morning as a matter of fact you, we could do the Rochester background of the afternoon of the 18th and then go on to the to Maine that that evening yeah mm -hmm. well, that might be an idea get Rochester out of the way then go to Maine spend Saturday and Sunday mm -hmm. at Maine then do Portsmouth Monday Monday and then back and, do and come back here come back here and then go up and, and then do go the then just shoot up to the AMA on Tuesday right right now, what I was wondering about was whether we ought not really to try to put a press conference in on the 24th. My view is, you see, you won't have one this month otherwise. Uh, yeah, I had one tentatively on the 23rd, but that you wouldn't have time for it. No. Uh, that'd be too much of a workout. What about doing one in California? Well... The end of the month. Well, or yeah, do it the twenty fourth. The, the only problem with that is the is the hubby dinner, yeah. and I, I don't. Seems see to me you're just as well off without that anyway. I think we could let that one go. I think we could really let that one go. Yeah. Well, that's kind of hold on the hubby dinner. Then will you do that? Figuring we might do that on the twenty fourth because yeah. you got the twenty eighth trip coming up. See. Yeah. And I think you might as well... The trip, would you have announced the trip by then? Oh, hell yes. You'd have to announce it by then. And we can announce this one a little bit more ahead of time? Not a hell of a lot. Uh, maybe uh, almost like to announce it. Well, about then, about the 23rd or so. But we, don't, we can't give too much. We just don't want to have the buildup in the Congress. I wouldn't want yeah. to announce more than a day before the press conference. Yeah. But the press conference would be then. Of if you announce the trip before the press conference, then you're going to spend all your time in the press conference talking about the trip, probably. If we could wait, maybe it'd be better to do the press conference. And then announce it, huh? And, and then, then announce it the next day. Well, I suppose another thing you could do would be to do the damn doctors on the 21st. Well, that'd be the other thing. You could do Portsmouth and then the doctor's on the way down. Which I think is not a good story for the not public. For the damn. It's a good story for the doctors. Yeah. Yeah. Of Portsmouth isn't a good story for the public either. We really aren't doing it for stories, are they're, we? No, that's right. They're both local. Dropping they're both for their own purposes. So there's some, get them over there. Portsmouth is a better story than the doctor's. I'd a hell of a lot rather see yeah. people cheering around in Portsmouth yeah, than I right. doctors. Then you can move the press conference to the 23rd. Is that your point? Mm-hmm. Well, then go on out to Indiana on the 24th that night. <clears throat> well, with the Indiana isn't the reason we're doing it. I'm just thinking of I mean, as far as the announcement is concerned, you see, we ought to get the press conferences in a routine as them to be useful. Don't you think so? Yep. I you agree uh, we can. I, I think can't think. I don't can't think of any other event that, unless we have a conversation sometime along, it might happen. But we don't want to have that yet. I'm not quite ready for that. 
but it was one on the 24th of uh, I'd rather not, I'd rather not, I'd rather not, I tell you, I'd a little rather have it announced. It's hard for me to have a press conference than have it announced the next day. Yeah, I guess so. So I think it's really better to have it announced. Well, maybe it's just as well to have it announced so that I can put it in context. Have it announced, you can put it in context. And I can say that I'm going, yes, and the purpose of this is to discuss the, our further, pro, our, the, the program of withdrawal and replacement. And until we've had our meeting, I'll have nothing more to say on Yeah, I'm not, no, I'll have an announcement at that, we'll have an announcement at that time. It's a way to put the uh, trip in context and to turn off any other discussion of Vietnam stuff. Yeah. I think the 24th, Bob, makes a better date, don't you think, to, yep. to uh, and, and then not do Indiana or... Uh, God damn it! I don't think that I don't just don't know. I just don't think that hub the dinner is. I don't think I, it's going to get you a hell of a lot of halfway promise to do it. Really, I sort of told him I'd do it. Well, we I just say that the trip has come up and then I've got to go. But the twenty fourth, uh, as a matter of fact, if you wanted, you could then put the press conference in the twenty fifth, couldn't you? Yeah. On Friday. Uh, yeah, and have right. the announcement on the 24th. And then what, go to California on Saturday, huh? Oh, hell, I'd go out at the press conference. That night? Sure. Get you there all late. Well, maybe not. Um, it doesn't get to there early, late, you know. You can have it go at 9.30, you get there at 11.30. California time. Yeah. So. Hmm. Well, the 24th is probably the best date, isn't it? I think it is. Well, hold it, will you, and then let yeah. the other one go. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the more I think of it, I think that the press conferences are are probably our best uh, device. Uh, the conversation thing, I, I I I guess we're not really, really we really don't want one right now, do we? Like uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm just not sure. It's the that's another thing we could do. Rather than a press conference, we could have a conversation. Mm-hmm. That might not be bad. The difficulty with having it with Cronkite, it was a beat all be on, virtually all on, on uh, Vietnam, you know, he's so obsessed with the damn subject. Yeah, and it seems to me maybe it'd be better to do that after the uh, after the two visit and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, we've got, got a little more positive. Got some more things pretty kind of yeah mm -hmm. wrapped that up. Might be a good one to do. Though. Maybe, maybe do it that. in July or something. Yeah. You don't get as big an audience for that anyway. And that's right. But it's so still, uh, still a big audience, and uh, you might as well do it then. I think the press. Uh, Press conference makes a little sense there, Bob, doesn't it? Mm hmm Also, one, two. Well, that's where we had figured it. We're really working on it. Let's just try to bang it in the 24th. Give me a day afterwards. And, yeah. Okay, then I think I would not, then I would spread the doctor thing to the 22nd, don't you? I don't you think? Yeah. Try to oh, sure. do two in a row. Yeah. Okay. All right, fine, Bob. Thank you. Okay. Secretary Rogers, please. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Haldeman, please. Thank you. The, uh, secretary. Yeah. Mr. Haldeman left for home, sir. He'd be there in about 20 minutes. Oh. He was here in the office. When oh, I thought he was home already. No. And, uh, sir, on your call to Secretary Rogers, he is out. The maid answering said that he should be back about 7, and they're unable to contact his car. So uh, may I uh, try to reach him for you oh. when he gets back at 7? He's, uh... Just He's out, uh, and uh, the uh, secretariat uh, tried to raise his car, but didn't get an no, answer no, in the car. No, no, that's right, that's right. He can call when he gets in. No, All right, sir. Uh, no urgency. Fine, Fine, thank you. And I'll call at Mr. Holliman's residence. Leave word there for him when to it's convenient. Your call. When it's convenient. Thank you. Right. Hello, Mr. President. I have Secretary Rogers for you now. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yes, you are. Yeah. Bill? Yeah, Mr. President. You leave in the morning? Uh, yes, uh-huh. Right. Did you finish? Did you play golf? or? No, no, I just played nine holes. I'm just going home now. Uh, right. It's really a beautiful day. That's right. Sure is. I just got back from Camp David. I've been working here in this uh-huh. press conference. On the Mideast, uh-huh. I uh, play a very cool, not say a hell of a lot, uh, particularly, uh, you know, like yeah. they're going to ask, I'm sure, about the, the change in government and all the rest. Yeah. Simply indicate the fact that uh, Secretary Rogers has reported me on this situation. We're still uh, trying to persuade the parties involved to continue the ceasefire and also to make progress toward a settlement either on an interim or other basis and so forth and so on. Uh, is that about what you want? That's about or is there anything, if there's anything positive, I can throw it in. No, I don't think so. I think that uh, it would be a mistake to say anything one way or the other at the moment. Either that this is a little un- dis- disappointing or a little... No, I didn't. Not uh, disappointing, anything of that kind. That's right. They're going to try to say, naturally, I... But if they ask anything, they will try to say, well, it wasn't this a surprise, or doesn't this indicate the Soviets and deep, more deeply involved, and mm-hmm. aren't you going to give arms to Israel? Now, on the arms to Israel deal, you know, the one question that may arise, well, what are you going to, are, are, what are you going to do about the request for $200 million worth of aid and yeah. more phantoms? And I'm simply going to say, well, it is not before me yet. And I'm not going to, That's good. I'm not going to talk about it. That's good. But basically, we have got to keep that bargaining position because... Right. You have to be in a position, it seems to me, to uh, hold it over their heads that we're not going to decide it. Good. Mr. President, the, uh, yesterday in my, my little speech, I said that that uh, we, we were studying the developments, of course, but that we were, that we, uh, were going to continue uh, the path that we followed. Uh-huh. We didn't think it made any difference as far as our efforts are concerned. On the Mideast, yeah. 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 Uh, we're going to continue the path. Yeah, right. We're going to continue okay. the path that we've Good. been following. Follow. Hopefully we can work, help work out yeah. something. You see? Uh, all right, I'll follow that. All right. He, uh, Sadat has uh, sent another message saying, don't lose heart. He wants to continue the discussion with us. Mm. And he's going to meet with Burgess uh, tomorrow. So we'll He's meet. obviously under great pressure, so I'm sure, from the left in his country. And also from the fact that people say, look, you can't depend on the United States. Uh, why can't we have the Russians with us against the real enemy that are, that are the Israelis? That's right. Well, put yourself in his position. What the hell would you do? That's right. So I, we understand. Uh, there's, there's some messages from Burgess uh, that Henry may get a little concerned about saying that he wants to, that Saddam wants him to come back to talk to you. Why well, am I going to let him do that, of course? Uh, Burgess does. Mm-hmm. Uh, if if any if Alex Wild have him come to Burgess come to see me I don't want you to get right. robbed at all right I understand so don't don't uh, be concerned about this. I won't be <laughs> okay uh, on the uh, the whole problem problem of the M M B M R B F or whatever it is uh, M B F R yeah I'm just going to say that Secretary is in Lisbon at the present time that's one of the matters that. Uh, they are discussing in a general sense, and I'm not going to go beyond that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep very non-committal on that. Is right. it what you what do you think? I think so. I think you can. Be, I think it, you can say, of course, we've already indicated our willingness, willingness right? Oh, yeah, we've positive. We've indicated our willingness to have these discussions, and we want to do it in an orderly way. And we're discussing the matter with our allies now. Mm-hmm. Oh, say that by all means. It, that's the goal. We've been working for it for a year. We are now in the process. The secretaries are discussing it. And once we develop a situation, we'll move along. Right. I thought John Conley's speech was pretty good, although it probably makes some of our friends mad abroad. I don't think I think it was a pretty good speech. It's a good idea to shake him up. Well, it was good for American consumption, particularly, which we need. That's right. I'll uh, I'll take the same line. I'll be a little little mm-hmm. less uh, abrupt about it. I think my job requires me to be. That's right. Better. I understand. I'll follow the same line. Right. Well, the idea is really that I think you can. What I would do is to throw off in the Congress. You know, George Meany has now yep. mobilized all the labor unions totally for 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 quotas on everything. There just isn't anything that's left out. Mm-hmm. And you can just say that uh, the American labor unions are for, unions are for this in the field of trade. Then, then go on and say that as far as the American 
people are concerned, they're not going to they're not particularly interested in Europe and the rest. And that, that what we're really doing is to try to fight a battle to be responsible. And if, unless you fellows let us be responsible, I, uh, it's pretty tough. I mean, throw it off on that. I think there's a little of that to be said. It's, it's, and actually, it happens to be true. Right. Okay. Well, I think things. How did how do things go? Memorial Day over there. Very very good. Yeah. Uh, Chapman made a hell of a good speech. Who? Oh. Chapman, General Chapman. Oh, did he? Yeah. The Marine Corps man. Yeah. And it was good. Right. You know, uh, Mr. Bernard, that reminds me of something. I think that we ought to do he is a, a little man. more of that. And I think, ne- hello. Yeah, I'm here. Next it's, year, I don't know. Somebody's clicking in now. It's okay. Yeah, I think somebody, I think next year you want to think about making it a fairly important occasion. Yeah. Memorial Day. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, the... Uh, the martial music and the singing and so forth is just wonderful. I think the country needs a little more of that. Yeah. Well, actually, I was glad that I went to West Point for that reason because it had a really good ring to it, you know, being at West Point and they had that marvelous music and these bright, fine-looking boys marching by, 3,700 of them. Yeah. And, uh, okay, I think it's a good idea. Well, and as a matter of fact, we may think of something to do on the 4th of July, which uh-huh. would be helpful. I think... Uh, I think the country is a little bit ready for upbeat. Because right. Damn sick of this. Uh, well, they're sick of the uh, of being sad. well, sadness. And everything. Everything's going to hell, and everybody has got to be, you know, uh, you know, uh, yeah. take dope and the rest. And they want to feel that by God, it's still a pretty good country. Uh, I think the next year we got to think of a lot about that. Not so much in our speeches, but just in our music and our yeah, I, occasions and things of that kind. Right. Right. Okay. What time do you leave? Nine. Oh, she she's going to be stay here for the uh, oh the reception. reception. Yeah. Okay. Right. When do you get back? I uh, uh, Wednesday. I'll be gone about eight days. Right. I'm going to the OECD meeting in Paris too. Oh, you time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I have Miss Oliver now, sir. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Did you call me? No, sir. No. I was returning your call. They, no, they said you would call at six. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I think I covered everything in the other one. I, I, I think it's a, it's the same call, you know, which I, which we had at the office. Okay. Okay. Hey, Pat, you, Pat's going to have the stuff, I guess, by 7. Oh, 7 now. Yeah, I was just waiting for it. Well, he said he was still humping when I left, and he said he'd have it in by 7. It's all right. Just get, hold, hold just a minute. One thing I was going to suggest is this, that, that it's, I think it's very important to to start immediately with regard to that Saturday operation. Saturday or both, and, and incidentally, you can use both days to use Saturday and Sunday for purposes of, of radio or major statements that we don't want to elevate to the to the other side. Or, as a matter of fact, for appearances, as we did at West Point, that do elevate to the other side. Yeah. But uh, will, will, you, will you develop a program because... Yep. Ray stuff comes in a little slow, and uh, but I think there's no reason, Bobo, we can't be on every Saturday for Sunday or every Sunday for Monday or both, you know, for for the whole summer months, and that's a hell of a big audience. Yep, it is, and it just it's so easy to dominate. Yeah. <laughs> you can dominate both on radio. And well, take these holiday weekends. Do you, re- do you realize anything we do, any any statement I make, you can put on radio. So you put the radio statement out, a radio, and you have the TV. Uh, uh, possibility if we if we do a speech. Yep. Unfortunately, looking at this week, uh, all we've got is Tulsa. That ain't particularly good. No, but you'll get TV on that. Well, it might not be too bad because it'll be friendly. But uh, what I meant is it isn't a there's an upbeat forum. Yeah. No, it's not bad. It's not bad though. Let's try to figure out right down the line every weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Throw it in there, you know, and not compete during the week. I mean, let the let that go the other way. Yep. 
sure is wide open then, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Because we and we've got plenty of things in the rest of the week that we can put out. Well, we inevitably have stuff during yeah. the week, no matter. We what. have to make appearances. I mean, there's just no way to avoid. But Saturday it. and Sunday, we should make up appearances. That's yeah. the whole point. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. Tricia, please. Thank you, sir. Please. Trisha, please. Thank you, sir.
Trisha, please. Thank you. Yes, please. Water pill, please. Yes, Mr. President. 